So I wanted to have a look at uh, the last video we looked at Bender Play to help you stay exercised, uh, keep your fingers in shape for when you're playing the guitar. And what I wanted to do uh, today is just go over something else that I think we all kind of need help with if you're a singer. And uh, I didn't know this. There's all kinds of lessons online helping you train your vocal cords, uh, keep your voice in shape, keep your diaphragm in shape if you're a singer all that kind of stuff. And that's great. We all need help with that. But uh, I came across something that I, uh, a little while back that I was kind of surprised by. Now you've probably heard of Musician. Musician is uh, an app that you know, everybody's heard of because they got ads all over the place, uh, whether it be on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, wherever. They've got it everywhere. So their marketing department is really heating things up. But anyway, Musician, I thought was pretty much just for playing guitar, bass, ukulele, piano. But what I did not know and what I thought was super cool is that they actually have singing in there as well. I mean, if you're into the gameplay thing, like if you got Rock Band or uh, Guitar Hero World Tour and you're used to singing and seeing that, that, that thing bounce across the top, uh, telling you which notes to go and showing you the words and everything, it's kind of fun, right? It, I mean, it's a lot of fun. We still play Rock Band in our house. We love playing it. It's uh, tons of fun and we probably don't want to get rid of it because we spent a whole bunch of money buying a bunch of download content. So that's neither here nor there. Whatever. That's what we got for Rock Band. Musician, on the other hand, if you uh, install it... So the cool thing about Musician is it's actually got its own dedicated applications. Okay, So it's got an app for Windows, a dedicated app for Mac dedicated for iOS and Android as well. And you know that, I mean, it's full 1080p on the screen here that you're looking at right now. But what I really liked about it is that um, you can pick uh, the resolution. You can go into settings here. I'll just quickly walk you through there. Uh, you can tell it what resolution you want. So if you want a full screen and you got high def screen, whatever, you can do that. Uh, here's your instrument. So you pick singing, which is really cool. Now here's uh, the really cool thing that I wanted to share, advanced settings, okay? So if you've got a home studio set up or you've got a recording interface, just even just a Scarlett Focusrite 2i2, you can use that with your favorite microphone to use your vocals into, right? So what you can do is click the ASIO driver and you can move over to whatever your input is and pick that and in the input channel and change the buffer size as well if uh, you've got those ASIO drivers loaded. I thought that was super cool um, because the cool thing about it is that you can use this on your computer in your home studio to help keep your voice trained. And like I mentioned before, we all need help with that. So I just wanted to share this with you. They've got a premium, premium plus, uh, the, the guided lesson, let's get started. You can start a free trial with it, which is fine. Um, the other thing I liked is the workouts area. So in the workouts area here, you can see they've got uh, sing and tune exercises, kind of a lot like the rock band, Guitar Hero World Tour type of thing where you just sing along or the karaoke video games. You sing along and it gets you warmed up and helps you sing in tune. But they've got different exercises, sight reading, ear training, uh, warm-ups, more ear training harmony lessons, rhythm lessons, hissing challenge, all of these things are to help you keep your voice exercised and keep your, your body exercised for singing. I was surprised that Musician did this. I think it's very cool. Now, the other thing that I really like, obviously, is that it's on PC, Mac, Android, iOS. Here's the, uh, the app on Android. Okay, So pretty much looks exactly the same as, as the Windows version does, which is fine. You can see all the different songs and stuff like that that they have there. The thing that I really like about it too is that if you're using your home studio setup for it and you've got a recording interface set up where you can record yourself into your computer, you can use that like we showed in the audio setting. And maybe you're kind of like me and you didn't really know what your vocal range is. And when you know what your vocal range is, you're not reaching for those notes all the time. You're not hurting your vocal cords 
You're not damaging your vocal cords. You know, uh, untrained singers will sing super high pitches and, and they're probably able to do that when they're younger, but then, you know, add 20, 30 years to their, <laughs> their lifespan and they're not able to hit those notes anymore. And that's because they may have been singing a little bit far out of their range or else they were singing at the top end of their vocal range and their vocal cords just can't handle it anymore when they got older. So what I, show, what I wanted to show you here is this little tool up in the corner. It finds your vocal range. Okay, so it, it'll show you here. It'll say, sing as low as you can. So let's see if I can do it. Uh, now it says, sing as high as you can. <laughs> so my voice obviously is an exercise today. And I'm sorry that you had to listen to that. It tells you what your vocal range is. <laughs> that can help you in so many ways. It can help you write songs. It can help you keep your, your singing uh, in a range that is comfortable for you so you're not, you're not hurting your vocal cords or anything. Uh, it can help you that way so that you're not, you're not going to cause any permanent damage to your vocal cords. And you'll be able to probably hit those notes down the road as you get older, if you're a singer-songwriter and you do your own material. Uh, again, I, th I thought this was a really neat tool. The bummer about Musician is that uh, the premium uh, account or premium plus is like 17 bucks a month. 17 bucks a month is a little on the expensive side. Like we talked about Fender Play, when you signed up, it was 50% off. If you uh, restarted an existing account, it was 75% off. But at, at max, at full price for Fender Play, for example, it's 10 bucks a month. Not bad at all. Musician is almost double that. It's 17 bucks a month, 200 bucks for a year. It's like, woo, that's, that's a little steep. You can start a free account, which is fine. And maybe that will get you through all that you need. But for some of the other things, like the songs here, uh, the different songs that they have, those are premium plus accounts. So you'd have to have the high end subscription with that. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I thought it was super cool that Musician had something like this. And yeah, hopefully it helps you out. Um, if anything, it's a good way to just keep a free account maybe with Musician and, and stay exercised, keep your vocal cords exercised and stay in shape for when you start getting those shows again uh, after this whole pandemic thing starts to wind down, hopefully. If anything, and you're just singing for your family and friends at home in your own little tiny circle of social distancing, keep your throat in shape too. So anyway, if this video helped you at all, uh, please let YouTube know by hitting the like button below. And uh, if you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified of other videos we have for mobile recording and home studio recording. Again, thanks for being here. Uh, it's very appreciated and keep making music.